legal. Did my wife want me to come to Harbor Freight? No. Did I want to come to Harbor Freight? Yes. Did I need to come to Harbor Freight? No. It's still available. drive my car I haven't really driven it that much so when I'm just go back for vacation I want to drive it so I'm like I'm going hard free so I got myself a couple cool things I was there of course wrenches were free today of course there was a couple other things that were free and they were out of stock the wrenches were all they had there was a utility knife wrenches and ratchet straps which I didn't really need ratchet straps anyway so it didn't really matter uh, this was kind of cool never seen one of these there it's like a ratchet wrench, but for sockets, you can do a quarter inch and eighth inch. So like really tight areas that you can't get a ratchet in. Look how thin this thing is. Look at, look at, look at, look at. I like that. I think it looks pretty cool. And I got a battery orbital sander. I want to try that, maybe. C10. C10's coming up. I didn't buy anything. This is, this is next, okay, but I got some products to review and one of them is these very nice LED lights this company sent me out. I believe the name is pronounced Barina. And they sent me four eight-foot LED lights, like shop lights. Well, you know where I'm putting them? On my lift posts. One of the problems you have when you put a car up on the lift is when you, you have lights. They're all up here. Well, when you put the car up, there's no light. To shine underneath the vehicle so it's it's dark under there so then you need another light so you can shine underneath there well what I'm gonna do is these eight foot lights are gonna go on each side of the post here and uh, I got wire I got I ordered some wire and a plug and I'm gonna wire everything in so I can run the cord over here to my power strip and then I can plug them in whenever I want to have lights on here and then, I also haven't had my RCF on the lift yet. I'd like to look underneath the thing, because you can't look underneath it. And I want to see what the underside looks like. So, I think once we get these lights on, we'll put the RCF up, check it out. I don't need to change fluids or anything. But there's a couple things I do want to fix, and I want it on the lift to do that. And then, we're going to get the C10 over here. Not on this video, but that's the next video. We're going to start the C10. So, that content's coming. I don't know what I want to start on that first. I changed some plans. I don't know. I just, I need to get started, period. Now, with these LED lights, there's these clips that come with it to mount them. And you just mount these clips and then you can clip the light in and it stays in place. And then you can link these lights together and then you can also put them end to end. They give you these little plug connectors here and you can just plug them right into each other or they also have cables that come off of them that you can link together so i'm gonna wire these things in all right so check these things out they're very low profile very light check this out and now you can see there's a strip in each direction so when i put it up on the lift let me show you how long these are going to be so if i mount these let's see right here on the lift it doesn't get in the way of anything. And look how far up these things go. So I'm gonna have plenty of light. And then it'll also help with painting. That'll be nice. I need to get these all set up, wired up, put all the clamps on the posts. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do that yet, but we're gonna figure it out together. And then, like I said, here's uh, wires that come with it. And then if you wanna 
wire them in, which is how I'm gonna do. You get, they give you these. I think there's, yeah, there's one for every light. Yep, sure is, right there, four of them. What's this? Oh, another one of these. This is if you wanna link them together. That all comes with this. I'm mounting these in my lift post, these little brackets. I'm gonna have to drill holes in the lift post. I'm trying to, I don't know how I wanna go about this. All right, let me, let me figure this out and get these clips mounted on here and then I'll get back to you. Pop rivets, that was the way to go. I was gonna use the screws, but then I had to like grind them down to make them fit. And I was like, why am I not using pop rivets? Put them in there, the right length, pulled it so it crunched into the hole. Tight, that's the way to do it. All right, let me finish up the rest of these. Then I'll get the wiring. Another thing I got for these, because I know I'm gonna be painting around them. I got 12 feet of clear vinyl and it's just craft vinyl so it's not like the expensive stuff it was very cheap but it's 12 foot roll so i can cut it to eight feet wrap these lights with clear vinyl so then when i do paint once it gets all grimy and stuff i can peel the vinyl off huh eh. Well, I'm a little excited for these things because I think it's going to be... Bro, I haven't seen them work yet. I have not plugged them in. I have not tried them yet since you got to wire them in. We're going to learn together. But I like this setup because now all I have to do is plug one wire in. I might use one of those plugs, the, the jumper plugs, and just plug the one hole because dirt and stuff's going to get down in there if I don't put one of those plugs in, one of these. Actually, I think it comes with caps, too. Oh, it does. Look at that. Right there. So I can cap two of them. I'm going to cap this one since these two are linked. I'm going to run the wire over, connect it to that one over there. Then from that one, I'm going to run a wire over to a plug that we can just plug in whenever we want light. Might eventually put it on a light switch, put a switch over there. But as for right now, just we're gonna rough it and we're just gonna make it a plug-in but I think this is gonna be awesome I kind of I like that that looks awesome I thought this up myself kids I'm giving myself way more credit than I need to be giving me myself anyways I bought wire on Amazon just a wiring kit is what, what gauge is this LEDs it doesn't really need a heavy gauge but I got 14 gauge wire 50 feet, I hope it's enough. But then if it's not, the cord that plugs into the wall, I think it's a little heavier gauge. Oh, no, it's also 14 gauge. So it's like six foot long too. So we got like 56 feet. And I'll get that done tomorrow. And then uh, just it, for the sake of making this a quicker review, uh, we're just gonna jump right into that tomorrow. is how that's the only lights I have on in the garage right now I'd say they're gonna do pretty good that's gonna be pretty awesome so let me get the RCF in here get this thing out. I'm gonna put this thing down the street anyways till it sells 
<clears throat> so we'll get that out of here. I need to clean up some stuff, but let's get the RCF in here and get it up on the lift and see what it looks like. Up on the lift, because this is awesome. I think I will eventually wire a switch in. It's simple enough as I use wire nuts right here to connect the end of the cord that comes off of the lift to the plug that I bought. So there's wire nuts right here. I can undo those and uh, put a switch right here on this board. That would be awesome. So then I can just come over here and flip them on. Boom, lift lights. That's awesome. Also, if you want to get yourself a set of these lights, head on over to Barina. If they hook me up with a discount code, it'll be down in the description below. I'm also going to leave a link in the description down below if you want to get yourself a set of these. They're eight foot lights and they come in a four pack, not a six pack, which I don't have. That's almost too much light. I need to get the vinyl too. <laughs> Freaking bright in here. Get dirty. At the tone, please record your message. So this is awesome, but I also see a problem here. I'm pretty sure this is supposed to go under the bumper, so this isn't even on right. So if uh, the techs, which I'm guessing the techs there at that place changed the oil, um, they didn't put it back on right. They didn't put the plate back on right. Or maybe they never took it off. But you have to take that off to service the oil filter because it's up front but the light come on tell me this ain't awesome like I can see everything well pretty much everything uh this thing looks good underneath honestly carbon this is gonna happen We've got some scrapes back here on the carbon on the bottom side I'm not worried about that and this looks like fiberglass underneath might be who knows here's uh, the tires that they told me were good you see that? That's the wear bar right there. Yeah. That actually looks like it has decent tread in the middle. It's like wore out here. I did order tires. I think I'm gonna leave these on for right now and then we'll eventually get those tires on. But uh, I'm, I'm liking the underside of this thing. It's actually really clean. I'm really happy with that. So, I knew, okay, so here, there's a, li a couple little screws. There's a screw missing here, this one's ripped out. I kind of figured this was gonna happen. These ones are ripped out. Uh, my lift kind of pushed on that, but these, I can probably just run these back up in. The, that one's loose, yeah. So some of these are missing screws or, or broken. This is just a plastic side skirt, so I'm gonna run some, I have stainless self-tappers. I'm gonna run them up in it. This front one looks like it's loose. This inner liner is supposed to be up in here. Is there a mount up in there? There is. And so you're supposed to mount that side skirt right there, but they didn't do it. So yeah, they didn't really go over it too well, I don't think. One thing, there it's dry. 
there's no leaks. That's awesome. Oh, and the only thing for an exhaust that we have is a muffler delete. And all they did was cut the pipes off right here. How can a tech not see this and say, oh, that's not factory? Well, <laughs> that, that's what their techs told them. They said, oh, it's factory exhaust. That from, from here up, yes. From right here back, no. Honestly, those tips don't look too bad, but I think I might want to put bigger ones on. But I like this setup. I, I, I honestly, I, I like the exhaust. It sounds really good. So good with that. I like that there's trays under everything, even the, the transmission to help protect it. I'm going to fix this front piece here. We do got some scrapes here. I could have did this myself. I don't know yet. I don't know if I did that or not. The grill's got like a little crease in it. I know I knew that. But I mean, for the most part, I'm pretty happy with this. I think um, there was some damage here. This needs to be fixed. We need. I need to do something with this right here. It needs to have a uh, a screw mount there, and then a screw put in it right here. And then there should have been a mount here. And then there's a couple push pins that are supposed to go in up there. They're not in. So I don't know what I'm going to do for right here because there's nothing. There's supposed to be a tab on there and it's gone. So, you know, brakes on that thing. Really not as bad as I thought it was gonna be underneath. I thought there was gonna be a lot of screws missing. I didn't really look at this side. This side, they got a couple of self tappers in there. All right, let me go change my clothes before my wife kicks my butt and then uh, we'll get to fixing these small things. Only dirt I can find on it, I think, is from the serpentine belt. It's like dust off the serpentine belt. You see up in there how it's, you know, a little brown, like around the belt areas around here. I'm pretty sure that's dust from the serpentine belt. Besides that, I mean, look at the, look at this thing. Like it's spotless everywhere you look. There's no oil residues or nothing. And that's what I wanted. For 58,000 miles, this looks really, really good. I can see what looked like used to be a leak way up there. I don't know if they changed fluids at some point, but it looked like, oh, that's probably water running down through the hood. I can see that there's a hole. Yeah, the water runs down through. That's why that hose looks like that. So, that explains that. All right. Well, let me get this back on. Um, I kind of can tell, I, I kind of know why they overlap that now because of these mounts being off, but this bumper's solid and I, I don't see it going anywhere. So I am gonna tuck it underneath it and uh, do it the right way. So, all right, let's do it. I just looked back and I was like, how'd I miss that? So originally there would be resonators in here too. So, the well, there's a hole in this one because it's leaking. There's moisture coming out of it, but it's not really that bad. Uh, and they use a smaller diameter pipe. You see that? Look, at, look at it. It's a smaller diameter. Why would you do that? Anyways, I don't think it's hurting this thing at all. But yeah, there would be resonators in here, and then mufflers there. So they got rid of. Two resonators and two mufflers. And then these are the second cats. And these are the front cats. So it they got rid of all the muffling except for the cats. Which is fine. That's it's just fine. I love the sound of this thing. I'm not changing anything.
so I'm gonna clean up my mess. I'm pretty happy with uh, what I did. I'm gonna put this thing down. And get out of the garage. And we're done. That was it. That's all I needed to do. Just straighten up a couple things and just wanted to make sure this thing was good. You know what I mean? They already didn't know a lot about this car, which worried me. Now I know more about this car, and that makes me feel better. I always suggest you go over your own car if you're going to buy one. Especially before you buy it. Now, I wouldn't recommend flying to another state to buy a car sight unseen, but that was kind of the only option I had. Well, kids, that's all I got for you today. So if you like this video, smash that like button. Consider subscribing. Next video, I gotta clean this thing off and clean this area up. We're not gonna video any of that. What we're gonna video is starting on this, okay? Wait, it's coming back. We're gonna work on that for a while. Maybe finish it. Probably not. Hit that dislike button if your mom likes when she doesn't finish. Wait, huh? See you on the next episode of Unwrapped. Ciao, Dan. You come to see me? Huh? Do you come to see Daddy? No. Well, mommy has food. That's why you come. Oh, and she's like, why'd you touch me? Hey, Stella. Come see me. At least one cat likes me. Huh. Oh, Miss Stella. Booty pats. Why are you so mean to me? Guardian cats. Silly. He's sleepy tail. Stew man? What? 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 Stewie. Can we say bye bye? No.